So friends, in our today's section, we are going to see some important structures and um, events taking place. First of all, we will see the lumbar plexus. This is the genital femoral nerve, just anterior to the psoas major muscle, right? So let us get oriented first. So first, uh, carefully watch the pictures, and now comes the orientation video. After that, we'll resume the dissections. So friends, uh, this is an orientation video. Here you can see the 3D model of abdomen area, right? We have uh, removed quite a few muscles to visualize the exact area. So this is psoas major muscle, as you can see. Now, uh, so in major, major focus would be on the lumbar plexus, right? Where is it? Uh, where does it originate? And how the nerves are seen in the that section, right? So let us see uh, where the lumbar plexus takes origin. As we know that lumbar plexus takes uh, origin through the substance of the psoas major. So this is first major muscle, right? So let us fade it and see how the nerves are originating. See, the L1 to L4, the ventral ramus, they are uh, forming the plexus. As you can see, we have faded the psoas major muscle. And you can see the nerves running through it and forming the plexus, right? And also, uh, some transfer section of muscle you will be seeing or some section of bundle of fiber you will be seeing that is of gluteus maximus because we have cut the lower limb we have removed the lower limb before going to the lumbar plexus let us see uh, the important structure of deep inguinal ring also here i am just creating a false ring uh, depression to look uh, so that it look nicely now you can orient yourself uh, by this picture you may also pause the video now you can see here the testicular vessels entering to the deep inguinal ring right now coming back to the lumbar plexus and other structures you can see the iliacus muscle right and the iliac crest now we look to the subcostal nerve also now this is the left renal vein we we'll we can see the left testicular vein draining to the left renal vein right you can see here left testicular vein draining into the left renal vein right now this is the other side of and this is we have slid the psoas major muscle from the lateral end to look for the nerves entering uh, exiting from it so this is just for giving a better perspective for understanding the lumbar plexus and its dissection and its practical importance right we are not here to just pinpoint the nerve that is this, this nerve and that is other nerve but this is a genital femoral nerve which is very clearly seen anterior to the body of the psoas major now you will see many nerves uh, passing through the substance of the psoas major muscle now we will try to identify one by one right so you can see there are many nerves like uh, operator nerve, iliohypogastric nerve, ilinguinal nerve, and femoral nerve. Femoral nerve we will see at the last, which we, we can see it very nicely, right? So you can see here uh, how the nerves are exiting through the muscle mass of the lumbar plexus. Now let us see the subcostal nerve also. Here is the 12th rib. Now below it we can see the T12 nerve that is also known as subcostal nerve. This is the subcostal nerve just passing to the coastal groove of the 12th rib, right? Above it, it is muscle is quadratus lumborum just above that 12th rib. Now coming back to the lumbar plexus, you can see here the ilio inguinal nerve which comes to the deep inguinal nerve but exists to the superficial inguinal ring, right? Now let us, you can also look at that uh, we are uh, seeing the nerve as we are pushing and pulling the nerve and which uh, confirm that it is passing through the psoas major muscle right this is another nerve th that may be the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh which is a uh, product of the lumbar plexus only right now uh, i will sh show you another nerve like this this is another nerve coming from the lumbar plexus this is also you can see pushing and pulling through the substance right now let us see an uh, image for uh, diagrammatic importance so in this image you can see you can pause the video and look how many nerves are and how they are arranged now coming back to the dissection you can see the basic perspective of the lumbar plexus and how they are traversing right just above the psoas major muscle i hope you can see the inferior vena cava right this is inferior vena cava and aorta you can see also the diversification now uh, we will see the femoral nerve right 
so uh, this is the ureter before that it is a ureter you can see we have removed the kidneys right this is the ureter cut end of the ureter below it you can see the testicular vessels which were entering to the deep inguinal ring right now coming back to lumbar plexus it is the femoral nerve as we confirmed it by seeing through the outside of the femoral canal that you can't uh, see in this video this is the femoral nerve uh, as the lower limb was cut we could uh, pull the femoral nerve through that uh, femoral triangle right so here from here we pulled and we confirmed that this is a femoral nerve right so i hope that you found this video useful this is just for uh, clearing your basic uh, perspective you can get a good perspective of the lumbar plexus and that's dissection importance this is the femoral nerve right once again you can have an overview there are many nerves uh, as we have seen every and this is the left side would be the inguinal ring sorry inguinal nerve so i hope you found this video useful you may share it with your friends goodbye